When we talk about getting better and getting more kills, one of the biggest parts of that is learning to fight outnumbered. Being able to take on teams by yourself and having confidence in yourself that you can take on teams by yourself. Now, if you are subscribed to me, you know that in my opinion, the best way to learn how to do this is playing solo duos. And here's why. Every single situation that I'm in where I'm fighting outnumbered, whether it's a 1v2, 1v3, or 1v4, I try to break down into a 1v2 scenario. And I talk about that a lot in today's gameplay, which which is a 24 kill solo duos live commentary as I'm playing talking you through my mindset why I'm doing what I'm doing and really how I go about breaking down 1v3s and 1v4s into 1v2 scenarios now look solo duos is tough you're gonna make mistakes your KD's probably gonna drop but overall guys the more situations you put yourself in whether it's good or bad the more you're gonna learn how to fight outnumbered and get more confidence I hope you enjoyed today's video I hope you learned something and make sure you are subscribed down below for more Sheik Island tip videos okay so as I mentioned today I'm taking you inside the mind is we're going to be playing some solo duos here and look i'll be honest with you there's a lot that i want to talk about today but the number one thing is this is truly how i believe that you can really start to get better you know putting yourself in uncomfortable situations picking fights figuring out how to start fighting outnumbered i hope i don't get landed on here i hope i don't get landed on i don't know where everybody is there is one up top there i would love to get a plate before i do anything else here this HCR is not a bad option. Let's go push roof. Let's clear from top to bottom here. Now the whole... Yeah, he's right on my level here. Let's see if I can... Yeah, and we just used that flash to our advantage. That flash was nasty. That guy, poor guy. He didn't know what to do. Give me this Chimera here. Um, we don't want the battle rifle. This this gun is not really usable right now, to be honest with you. Give me the MX-9. Uh, let's see if I can go ahead and get loadout. Now, guys, when we talk about solo duos, whether you're playing trios or quads, you can break down fights into solo duo situations, into 1v2s. That's the whole goal. If we're in quads, you know, the whole goal is to get it down, get a thirst, challenge with momentum on enemy number two, and then from there... What we do is now we have another 1v2, right? So the ideal situation in quads, you get it down, you get a thirst, you challenge enemy number two. Then all of a sudden, now you're in another 1v2 situation because you guys, you got two kills and two enemies are still alive. Now, uh, give me the Vaznev. I feel so comfortable with the Vaznev right here. Now in trios, trios is a little bit easier. So trios is very simple. If you get a clean down and thirst, which is always the goal to kick off a fight. It's always the goal to kick off a fight. And you can challenge enemy number two with momentum, right? So you get a clean down and thirst. You get the mini-map pings. You see that one of them's close by. You anticipate. You execute. You hit shots. You get that kill as well, right? That's a 1v2 situation. That's what we're, the goal is in today's gameplay is to do that as much as possible. Now, if you're in trios and you get a clean down and thirst and those two enemies are very close together. No, that guy's a bullet. And those two guys are very close together. Well, look, now we're in a 1v2 situation where, hey, they just happen to know where we are. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, we just kind of third party that with a little bit of positioning. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really hear anything. Oh, my gosh. There's one right there. Around the corner here. Up top. Where'd this guy go? I'm going to push this. Watch this. We're going to use the smoke. Right around the corner here. Quick melee to reset tax sprint. And he's right there. And look, here's the thing. Duos are very hit or miss when it comes to being sweaty. That's not the goal. The goal is for you to learn how to put yourself in as many engagements as possible. That's the goal. I don't care. Some games are going to be sweaty and you're going to make mistakes. Some games are going to be like this where the lobby's clearly not as good. That's perfectly okay. I want you to get in the habit of like, hey, I got to clean down and thirst. Now I'm going to go ahead and challenge enemy number two. Or I took too much damage, but I did get the kill. So I've got to reposition and then re-engage. Where are these guys? These guys are all the way over at residential. Um, we don't have a ton of information here. We do have loadout over my right side. I already have loadout. Um, let's keep working here. Now, these lobbies will die out. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, there's already 10 teams left. It's only first circle. I mean, th there's only 20 people left. 
that's perfectly fine, guys. Again, the whole... I don't see anything. I heard glass straight down the hill here. Right? But this is a situation, guys. We're in a 1v2. Right? I got the kill. I didn't really see it, but I heard the glass. I can go push this immediately. Now, I'm going to play a little bit of positioning up top. You can also farm a little bit. You don't have to go challenge immediately. And we can go push this guy. I still have 30 rounds here in the Vaznev. Where's his teammate now? I don't know where his teammate is. I still have no idea. I heard glass down below here, but I don't really know where this that guy is. And, and if you don't get any information, then we just go ahead and keep moving. Let me go ahead and quick reset here. Let's quick reset the Lockman. Um, I don't hear any fighting. I don't see anything. I'm being really careful roaming around here, guys. I'm kind of wandering. But we are wandering with a purpose. What I mean by that is I'm wandering, kind of pushing hot areas, right? I know that there's people over here somewhere. There's at least a king. I'm trying to get high alerted. I'm trying to get some people. Oh, he's up top there. That would have been nasty. But he was shooting at somebody. Right? So he was shooting at somebody here. Uh, water over this way? Let's be really careful here, chat. One up the hill there. I'm going to push in this way. Okay, so I just got high alerted there. I just don't know where that guy is. There's one up the hill here. So this is where, like, you've got to just be careful. Right? I know there's still one up the hill there. Yeah. Where's his teammate straight back <gasps> there's multiple people over here this is a good this is just I, i'm gonna be honest like i'm clearly the best player in this lobby so we're just gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and just keep executing here but again you see the concept of down thirst clean kill and now like we just play a little bit of positioning in fact i'm gonna push over a little bit further play this rock put myself in a perfect position to just hold this guy out where are you he's got to be rotating over to me so does that guy have self do we think This guy have self? No way, right? Enemy soldier incoming. He does. They threw it. I'm so confused. Where are you? This guy's close. Okay, so that's like a really bad situation, right? Like, I, I got away with that because those players were not that good. Clearly. I don't get away with that in a better lobby chat. So that's a situation I got to learn from. Like, I've got to... I cannot have that happen. Missed opportunity right there with shots because this guy's right down below me here. Yeah, this guy's like right down here. Let's trust high alert. It only takes one sweaty player, chat. I'm going to be honest with you. Chat, I've never been able to do that before. I've never climbed rocks like that before. I'll be honest with you. I don't know what that was. There was a buy station over... There was a buy station backside somewhere. Let's keep working here. Still need to be careful at this buy station. Can't just full send it. That's why. So how do we play this? We jump peek this, right? So once again, that one was a little bit tougher because I get away. I mean, I obviously get the first kill, but how many of you guys just full send buy station right there? Like this is, but this is hands down the best lobby that I've gotten all night. Hands down the best lobby. And you know what? We're going to take advantage of it. And we're going to keep dropping a bomb here. I got high alerted from somewhere this way. But that little mistake where I didn't jump through the window, like, that can cost me. Those little mistakes are what can cost you against better players where, you know, you slightly... Where... Hold on. There was a guy over here.
That sucks. Okay, so I got to deal with his sniper straight back here. Um, what's our thought for dealing on the sniper? Let's go ahead and let's grab precision here, right? Let's grab precision. Did I stow the mortar? Yeah, we can. Um, we can actually buy an armor box too for later on. Let's just grab these though. I might be doing a. No, I'm not doing a little bit too much here. Actually, we're doing just enough. There's going to be a team to my left side. I don't know where that sniper was. Target area marked. You're cleared hot. Strike inbound. Okay, let's go ahead and push up top here. UAV is bingo fuel. RTB at this time. One's down below. Enemy UAV overhead. Okay, there we go. That guy wasn't bad. I don't hear anything. There's the 20. Now we got... Where is this guy? Do they have anything that I can use to get out of this kind of... Uh, now... Here's a question that I have for you guys. You guys remember the guy that was on this top hill, right? Remember the guy that I just barely couldn't quite get that kill? Where is that guy? Where is that guy? He's got to be somewhere. Chat, I'm in a really bad spot here. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, that's that's okay. Obviously not an ideal spot here, but I saw him flying over. But that's where that initial down. You got to be able to get that initial down right there with the lockman. That's that's a must must have situation right there if you're gonna win that fight. And all of a sudden, what happens? I'm able to get that initial down right pressures on them to revive so I can go ahead and push that challenge that with momentum but what that does is it opens up this side of the circle for me if I'm not able to wipe that team it gets really dicey here with smokes in and uh my gas mask simply because where am I gonna rotate to right like I've got to rotate to maybe these crates like they are gonna hold this it's pretty it's pretty tough let's mount real quick let's be really careful here though because enemy number two is still close. I don't know where enemy number two is. I'm going to continue to play my cover here. I can play this right side. You guys remember the first guy I told you about? Chad, there's no way this hits, right? Let's go. Let's go. Let's freaking go, Chad.